By now, you know just how much fentanyl is impacting our community, especially our youth. That's why our local leaders are continuing their efforts to educate families on doing their part to keep their loved ones safe. With events like a fentanyl town hall, it was hosted tonight at Memorial Auditorium. Markeisha Jackson was there for us, and she's joining us now with what all we need to know. Markeisha. Lauren, we've recently seen that increase of fentanyl-related deaths in young adults, and speakers at the town hall just invited parents and their children to become educated on fentanyl and other drugs that could possibly land in their hands. In the last 12 months, we killed upwards of 300,000 people with drug overdoses. This is a catastrophic crisis going on. Fentanyl. It's dangerous, deadly, and is taking young adults by storm. They say, um, 50-50 chance at any given time if you take one of these pills that you will die. It's that deadly. It's that dangerous. The drug can be 50 to 100 times stronger than morphine and is typically used to treat severe pain. And get this, it only takes about 2 milligrams to take a life. In these days, it's hitting the streets at rapid numbers, falling into the hands of the youth. Unless it's a certified pharmacist who's handing it to you in the little paper, you know, the stapled bag, you have no idea what's in it. And so just don't put it in your mouth. Understanding simple things like that are why 78th District Judge Meredith Kennedy, alongside other local officials, say hosting events like Monday's town hall are needed to create a safe space for these kinds of conversations and educate folks not only on fentanyl, but the countless other drugs out there. I think it would be good to continue it until we really get a lot more education in our community about it. It, it, it hit us. It's been in our community for a long time. We've known it was in our community, but the, the number of deaths that we've had, something like 30 in the last year, has just come on so quickly that we feel like we're kind of behind the eight ball on it. It'll take the work of everyone in this community to confront this and other drugs that have the potential to impact any of us. Now for more information on the fentanyl crisis in our community, as well as resources, you can visit TexomasHomePage.com. All right, thank you so much for showing us what happened there tonight. I know that they were able to reach a lot of people with that, and that's great. Markeisha, thank you.